Wish I could say I was finally over you But that's not the truth mm -hmm. Everyone always keep falling in love again What's wrong with them? I don't understand Maybe it will pass by someone save me For a pass out, I'm too lonely To be done, I'm a drink at this page yeah. Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel for another video this week we are doing some real deep cleaning. I found some pretty gross messes and had a lot of work to do to get my house in order. We've been putting a ton of work into both of the kids' rooms, so the rest of the house has been a little bit neglected. I hope that this video gives you tons of cleaning motivation and let's go ahead and get started. We're going to start off in the bathroom today. This bathroom definitely takes a beating between the three of us, so it needed a lot of work. Also, if you're wondering why maybe I'm talking a little bit quietly, it is because I'm doing these voiceovers at 10 o'clock at night and my toddler is sleeping just down the hall. So hopefully my slight whispering is not bothering you, but that's what we're working with today. I had been noticing that lately whenever I ran the faucet, the water was not going down the drain and I actually did try to put a little bit of Drano in there and it didn't do anything at all. So I knew there was definitely something really stuck in this sink drain and I needed to go in manually and figure out what that was. So you guys are going to see after I finish wiping down all of the surfaces in the bathroom, what ends up happening when I open up the sink drain and it is very, very gross. Wish I could say I was finally over you, but that's not the truth. So as you can see, once I lifted off the cap to this drain, there was all kinds of hair and there was like some mushy stuff in there and I have no idea what it was. I don't want to know, but I was trying at first to, to go in with just a screwdriver and pull out as much as I could because I couldn't get that middle piece out, but I ended up actually asking my husband to come in and pull it out for me so that I could really get in there and get all that out. And once he did that, you guys can see, it is just so, so nasty. I'm pretty sure that nobody has ever cleaned this in the time that this vanity has been installed or the sink drain. So I'm glad that I finally did this. And now luckily our sink drain is no longer clogged, but it was definitely just a really gross experience. And I honestly felt nauseous as I was pulling things out of this drain. I think I saw this on TikTok, but I'm just taking some dish soap and then some baking soda and I'm going to pour some vinegar in there and I'm going to let that sit for like about 10 minutes with a hot towel over the drain and I guess that is supposed to help just to unclog it if there's anything else left in there. Can I take you out tonight? Kiss you in the moonlight. 
Without fail, every single time I go to clean this toilet, my four-year-old comes in and tells me that he needs to go potty. So I had to start this and then stop and then resume after he used the potty. It's actually kind of funny how often this happens. Now that the sink drain disaster is dealt with and the bathroom is relatively clean, I'm going to move on to cleaning the tub. But while we're doing that, I wanted to quickly talk about today's sponsor, Acorn TV. I recently asked you guys for recommendations on new shows to watch because I had been feeling like I've just seen it all and needed something new. I've actually recently discovered Acorn TV and I'm so excited that they're sponsoring today's video because I have fallen in love with this streaming service. I have been going through their catalog of shows and it has been so refreshing to have a whole new selection of things to watch. If you have not heard of Acorn TV yet, they're actually the largest commercial free British streaming service. You will find thousands of hours of exclusive premieres and originals that you will just not find anywhere else. And the best part is that it's actually only $5.99 a month. For a while, I was streaming podcasts while I was cleaning or editing my YouTube videos, but I have loved discovering new shows through Acorn TV. I just prop my phone up while I'm getting stuff done and I'm always able to find something compelling and interesting and new to watch. I actually just have the app downloaded to my iPhone and I know it's also available on Android devices, the Amazon Fire TV, Chromecast, Roku, and more, so it's really easy to access and watch whenever, wherever. I am sure that a lot of you also feel that you have gone through every show imaginable in the last few years, so I would highly recommend downloading Acorn TV. There are new releases every week, and these shows are from all around the world, and you won't find them anywhere else. I am currently streaming My Life is a Murder Season 2. The finale is actually coming up on October 18th, and I am really looking forward to finding out what happens. I don't want to spoil it for any of you, but it has been so much fun to watch, and if you're into crime or mysteries, there is just an endless supply of options for you on Acorn TV. With Acorn TV, there is always something new to discover. Try Acorn TV free for 30 days by going to acorn.tv and using code Katherine Elaine. Pretty much all I have used to clean my floors since moving into this new house is the e-cloth 
deep cleaning mop. I just find it so easy and convenient and it does a really good job. So I'm just going to use that to quickly clean the floors in the bathroom. Now we are going to work on cleaning up my bedroom, which has been a mess for quite some time now. And I let a lot of things accumulate on my side of the room. So I just really needed to take care of that and get some laundry put away, get some bins out of there that had been sitting there for a while. Also desperately needed to clean off my nightstand. I just let this nightstand just get covered in just all the things and I don't clean it off as often as I should, which you guys will see in just a minute. Everything feels so abstract. Yeah, it's complicated. What you say, the way you act. Well, it makes me so confused. I don't know. I have been looking into buying some new bedding. I just want to get something a little bit more decorative and fun, but it's really hard when I feel like I'm just, my house is just not where I want it to be yet. And until we get our renovations done and this room is a lot bigger and, you know, painted and it's not these strange purple color on the walls, it's kind of hard for me to catch a vision for this space. And sometimes it just makes me feel like I don't even want to try if that makes any sense at all but I am looking into trying to spruce it up a little bit in the time being before we can actually get the renovations done. This is the problem side of the room and that is because I just like to leave my laundry in the laundry basket forever and also leave clean laundry in the hamper where the dirty laundry belongs and then I end up throwing the dirty stuff on the floor. It's like a vicious cycle. I don't know why I'm doing it. I've honestly never really been this way but definitely needed to get all of this cleaned up because it was driving me insane and it's really hard for me to relax in my room at the end of the day when I'm looking around and there's clutter and mess. So I've been really happy that I finally got around to doing this and I'm going to try so hard to not let it get as bad in the future. This is what I like to call my pregnancy nightstand because it's just covered in all things that I need at the end of the day, you know, feeling sick or tired or having heartburn or whatever it is. It's just all piled up on this nightstand along with my fetal Doppler, which I still use on the regular because if you guys have been around for a while, you'll know that I did have a miscarriage and ever since then I'm just a little bit more anxious this pregnancy and every once in a while I do like to listen to his heartbeat and just make myself feel a little bit better. The camera doesn't really pick this up from far away so I wanted to make sure I showed you guys up close how dirty this nightstand actually is. Sometimes I watch YouTube videos and I feel like everybody is just cleaning a clean house but the camera quality really just it just does not pick up this kind of stuff so I wanted to make sure I showed you guys that I am actually cleaning a dirty mess. I am down. Don't feel so sure cause I can change my mind and be the bad guy. First time you can change me You can change me Something that I did not get to in this video that I will definitely need to be doing soon is the window tracks on the windows in my bedroom. You'll see when I open them in just a second that they definitely need a little bit of attention. But now I'm going to deal with getting all of this stuff out of my bedroom and either into the trash or back where it belongs and then we are going to focus on folding a little bit of laundry.
I have had a really hard time getting myself motivated ever since becoming pregnant again. And I think I was like this the first time around, but it's honestly hard to remember because it was so long ago now. But I do think I was kind of feeling this way then too. This pregnancy has been especially hard for me, I guess, emotionally and um, just really having a hard time with my body changing and feeling so tired and worn out and just not like myself. I am grateful every single day for this baby and to be pregnant, but that certainly doesn't take away from how hard it really is on us women to go through pregnancy. And if any of my viewers are in the same position as me right now and just feeling a little bit large and insecure and tired and unmotivated, I just want you to know that you are not alone. When I was pregnant with my first, I actually experienced really extreme swelling and it's something that I'm very scared of as I'm starting to approach the third trimester. I think with my first son, it started when I was maybe 32, 33 weeks and it progressively got worse throughout the rest of my pregnancy to the point where I could not bend my knees because they were so full of fluid. I looked like a human water balloon. It was very painful and I actually have like stretch marks on the back of my calves from how big my legs grew in that time period. It was really scary and I just am praying that it doesn't happen this time around because this is a January baby as opposed to a July baby. So I'm hoping that the colder weather will help to prevent that. But if you guys have any tips on preventing extreme swelling, then please be sure to leave them in the comments below because I am fearful every single day that that's going to happen again. I'm tired of dwelling in the dark, it's just that my heart can't take it. I didn't know what it would cost me when I let you go. I feel alone, and I'm just singing, mm, 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 it should have been you. Another time, another place, I just know. I just don't know what to do It should have been you I could be driving to your place But now the crown is shaking Could be a face But it feels like It will never go away Until we make up I can't be myself I never knew how much I needed you mm -hmm. should have been I wanted to get my dresser cleared off and wiped down, but if you guys are wondering why the cord for the TV is out like that, it's because the outlet behind the TV actually just stopped working and I don't know what is wrong with it. So that's why that's like that, but it's fine. We'll get it figured out. And the TV is also angled funny and not straight because that is off to the side of the room. So in order for us to see the TV properly from the bed, we had to angle it that way. So just keeping it really real here. This is real life and not everything is always going to look picture perfect. It should have been you. This is another thing that you can't see from far away on camera, so I wanted to make sure I zoomed in and showed you guys what the state of my floors was looking like and why I was vacuuming them at all. Because again, sometimes it just looks like we're cleaning a clean house, but I'm promising you right now that that is not the case. I just don't know what to do. It should have been you. I swear I tell
Next, we're going to move on to just cleaning the kitchen. So we're going to, of course, clear off the countertops. I had a bunch of stuff sitting in the sink. If you're wondering why there's water in the sink, it's because I had a couple of things that needed to be hand washed and they were just like drinking glasses, um, almost like Yetis. And I wanted to just soak them in soapy water for a little bit before I washed them just because I was feeling lazy. But that is why the sink is full of water if you're curious. I'm also going to be emptying the dishwasher and getting all of the dishes put away. I have been loving my scrub daddy sponges for a while. These things are so good. I have like the scrub mommy and the scrub daddy out right now on camera, but I'm loving them. And I never used to understand the hype until I gave them a real chance. And now I use them every single time I do dishes and they're just so good. So if you guys see them at your Target or your Walmart, definitely pick them up. I'll also link them in my Amazon storefront, which is always in the description box of my videos. I don't know if they still have this scent out, but if you guys see the acorn spice scent from Mrs. Myers at your Target or wherever it is that you shop, definitely pick it up because it smells so good. But I'm pretty sure they're moving on from this and releasing the Christmas collection or the holiday collection. So don't know if you can find it anymore, but if you do see it, snag it because it smells amazing. I wanted to take a couple of minutes just to wipe down my appliances, so I'm just using an e-cloth to do that. I'm wiping down my stovetop with the e-cloth, and then I'm going to go in with kind of a polishing e-cloth just to make sure that it looks nice and shiny. And then I'm going to wipe down the front of the appliances, so the stove, oven, uh, microwave, and also my dishwasher. We did just get this stove and dishwasher, and they're amazing. I've talked about them in probably every video since I've got them because I love them so much, but we're also expecting to get our microwave and our refrigerator. They're back ordered just like everything else in the world, so hopefully soon we can get those. I'm very much looking forward to them.
random but if you guys are looking for a really nice trash can this one is great and we got it off of amazon i think i've also seen it at walmart but i will link it down below but with the taking out of the trash we're going to end this video i hope that you guys enjoyed this one and it gave you some cleaning motivation make sure that you leave me a comment down below and give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it i also want to say a big thank you to acorn tv for sponsoring this video if you guys don't already have acorn tv i would highly recommend it it is such an awesome streaming service and i'm just so happy that they wanted to work with me on this video but thank you so much for watching again i hope that you enjoyed it and i hope that you'll come back again next week for another video